Hey everybody, I'm Matt with IFA Country Source. I'm out here at a friend's house today. We've got a couple hives that overwintered really well. Uh, about a week ago, he put on these honey supers because he thought the boxes were just too thick, too full of bees. So today, we're going to take these apart, do a hive inspection, and then split these out so they don't swarm on him, and have some fun doing it. So let's get some protective gear on and we'll get started. I'm all suited up my protective gear. Uh, these bees have been a little less than pleasant this morning is what I'm told when I got here. So we want to make sure we gear up uh, being in here, especially as we're tearing this hive apart. These bees will be defensive on these homes of theirs. So we want to make sure we're, we're protecting ourselves. Uh, again, so here a week or so ago, we had these honey supers put on just to give these bees a little extra room. So to start out, we're going to give these guys a little puff of smoke. Got the smoker here, it's been going. It's dying a little bit. We've already puffed smoke in here once. We're just gonna give it a few hits of smoke. Let me hit this hive as well. If you can get that going, I might be dying out on this. There we go. So if you get that smoke going, that's gonna help calm the bees down. It masks the pheromones that they're putting off. Uh, so they're just a little bit calmer. Now as we tear into this hive, got a nice spider right there. Okay, as we tear into this hive, you'll see that they're going really well. Lots of bees in here. So we're going to pop this box off and just set it aside for the time being. Tip it's outside here. We have a queen excluder that we're going to remove. They glued this down pretty good with profit, so just work your way around. Now lift right up. Okay, now we're into this hive. First thing we're going to do for an inspection is we're going to go through, make sure we have eggs, larvae, uh, make sure the queen's laying, make sure they're putting honey away and pollen away. Anytime we start to inspect a hive, we always want to start from the very outside edge and work our way in. Uh, the queen typically will be inside in the middle frames. However, that's not always the case. I have found her out on the outside frames several times. So we want to be careful when we're pulling these out so we don't roll that clean. We just work this frame a little bit at a time to lift up. We can pull it up here. So this frame is mainly honey and pollen. You can see hopefully there the bottom half is pollen the top half is honey. Now these bees are getting a little, a little excited. So I'm going to take my sprayer here, pump it up. In this sprayer, I have this Fat Bee Probiotic Mineral Supplement from Slide Ridge. Uh, I pour this in undiluted in here. Just open the sprayer and dump the whole bottle in. And I just give them a little spray down with it. I get a little agitated, a little more active for just a second. You notice they quickly suck down into the frames here. It does calm them down quite a bit. So on this next frame, we're looking, there's a lot of pollen. That is solid pollen over there. So these bees are bringing back a good amount of pollen. Uh, up here we're in the Cache Valley. The trees are starting to bloom, starting to get some pollen coming out on a few buds. But we're really not breaking spring just yet. Now this frame is full of brood. We'll take this and see if you can see in there. I'm not sure if the lighting's great for that. But that is full of brood. We have drone cells along the bottom. Here in the middle, we have worker bee brood. 
here at the top. And then there's uh, varying stages of brood in the little holes, the little cells that are open there. So that's looking really good. I'm not seeing any queen cells yet, which is really good. Just means they're not trying to swarm yet or supersede or... This frame is all brewed again. Now if you're having a hard time looking down in those cells to see the eggs, uh, we're under a covering here, so we're in the shade. But if you can stand with the sun behind you and hold the frame up so those cells are on an upward angle, you'll be able to look down in and see the different uh, stages of brood and pollen or brood and larva as they're in there. See the eggs if they're in there. So tipping that with the sun behind you over your shoulder makes a big difference. Now when I look through a hive here, it's fun to find the queen, but I don't always take the time to do that. Oftentimes I look till I find eggs, and at that point I'm done with my inspection. In this frame, I have eggs. So this frame has a little bit of cat brood. This is all fresh eggs, uh, freshly hatched eggs, and very young larvae. I do not see a queen on here. Not my luck today. So at this stage of this inspection, if I were just inspecting this hive, I've seen eggs, so I know the queen's been here in the last three days. They're bringing in pollen, they're bringing in a little bit of nectar. I would then put this hive back together and be done at this point. With the exception of the fact that this hive is as crazy full and busy as it is. Not sure how she got in, but she got in. So we'll spray the guys down again. Okay. So. It's a good thing to show right there that just because you're suited up doesn't mean you're not gonna have a sting or get bees inside there. But it definitely, definitely decreases the risk. And again, another good frame. Really good solid frame of brood there. Alright guys, so uh, as we're going through and doing this, we did find our queen. She's sitting right there. See the tip of my pen. Got that longer abdomen right down there. Hey, and that's her. She's got her attendants surrounding her, knows how they're all facing her, uh, grooming her, cleaning up after her, just taking care of her and everything she does. So, uh, But that's her just kind of working around on the hive and doing her queenly thing. Okay, so we've gone through, we've established that this hive is booming, to say the least. Uh, we're going to make a split now. So. Uh, my friend here likes to use top feeders, so we're not going to put an in-high feeder in here uh, like I normally do. So we're going to take and put a couple empty frames on the outside of this empty box. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to pull a few frames out. here. I'm hoping I'm not being too loud with these bees on here. This is why bees, that's why I don't wear dark bee suits. They don't like the dark colors. Okay, so this is a very nice frame of capped brood. So we're going to take this 
of our one frame that we're going to use and put that right here with all the bees on it. And this is a nice frame of eggs and some hatched larva. put this frame in here also. So it's working across the top box here. So this is a nice solid frame of honey on both sides. So we're definitely putting that in. And I've not seen the queen on any of these. This is half honey, this has some pollen and some brood in there. i put that here. Now if you'll notice, on these frames, I have two empties, a frame with pollen and honey, a little bit of brood, a frame of mainly eggs, a few hatched larvae, a frame of solid cap brood here, or vice versa on those two. And this is a, another good frame that's got mixed cap brood and mixed larvae in there. So I'll put that here. So those eggs are right in the middle. Okay, we got honey on both sides. And that's our five frame nook right there. Now I don't have a queen on this one. So at this point I put a queen in here and let her sit in here and then put these frames in along the side of her. Now I leave her in a cage, put her in there for three days. And then come out and I do a direct release. Meaning, I would take the cork or the plug out and release her directly in the hive. And that will be my five frame nook. So, uh, this I'm actually gonna relocate. Uh, we're gonna relocate this down the road a ways, um, away from the mother hive because all of these bees will, foragers will want to come back here. So we're going to make sure we relocate it. Um, I will take a few frames and dump a few extra frames of bees on here. I'm not going to do that now because I don't know if you'll be able to hear me after we get all those bees excited with everything going on. Uh, but that's how I do a, a split on there and that's what I'm looking for when I do inspection. Now at this point we are going to want to feed the bees. Anything they put away right now is going to be their winter source coming this, for this coming fall. So we want to make sure and feed them until bottom, the bottom two boxes are completely full or ready for honey super. At which point we stop feeding and put our honey supers on. Uh, it is important to make sure they have the feed they need to get through winter. It does make it faster to get to your uh, honey crop and honey production. Um, but if you do start feeding, you need to continue feeding until there's plenty of nectar flowing out there for them. Uh, and make sure you feed every hive in your apiary because if you feed one and not the others, the others will start to rob from that, that hive that's getting the food and you cause more problems than you're, than you're fixing it. So that's how we do a split. Uh, we'll throw the lid on here after I shake a few more bees in here and then put the cover over top of it. Um, again, we're going to put a strap around this and haul it down the road a little ways. Uh, we'll split the rest of this hive out, then split this hive out, and it'll go from two hives. We're going to go to about six with these. We could probably go deeper, but that's the limit he wants to be at. So uh, that's what we're doing today. If you guys have any questions, uh, please let us know. Call your local IFA country store. We're happy to help. And appreciate you coming along and joining us today. Have a great afternoon.